There it is, the sounds of Philip Saisa, one of the covers on his new album called Influence, uh, 70s classics. Philip, thank you so much for being here this morning. Love, love the sound. Fantastic. Thank you for having me. So uh, you have a tour starting tonight, a Canadian tour, right here in Montreal. Very happy that it starts here. Mm -hmm. Tell us about Influence, uh, the title of the album. Uh, yeah. What have been some of your influences? What has, how did this come about, this title for you? So it was an opportunity to, uh, to make a record in Nashville with a good friend of mine named, uh, named Dave Cobb. And uh, we just talked about music that really turned us on, got us out of bed in the morning, real early in the morning, like today, you know, and kind of makes my blood, you know, boil and make my, my heart beat fast. And, uh, you know, a lot of artists on here, Little Richard, Graham Nash, um, influence from Stevie Ray Vaughan, Jimi Hendrix, all along. And we just, you know, tried to put that into the music. And tell me why you decided to pay homage to those specific people. There's some Clapton on there. There's yeah. Hendrix, which you just mentioned. Why was that so important for you on this album? You know, my intention in music is to continue the spirit of, of that music, not to emulate or try to copy, but um, more so to uh, look at it through my own lens and, and put my experience into that music. But the music means so much to me, and uh, so I'm really just doing my part to, uh, to do what I can with it, to continue it. And we were just talking before, music does mean so much to you. I can feel it just talking to you. You've played some very, very big venues. You've played the Ma Madison Square Garden, I mean, which is one of the most, uh, you know, famous stages in the world. Yeah. You've decided here uh, in Canada to start with smaller venues. Tell me why. Well, I think there's something to be said about um, connecting with people in an intimate environment. Um, we'll be sweating right on the people. It's going to be close, right? <laughs> hopefully, hopefully some people will come and join us. But, uh, you know, I think it's an opportunity to really connect with people at, a, at an intimate way and to perhaps develop the music and to, to really connect with people uh, on an emotional level, on a musical level, perhaps even a spiritual level, because mm. that's where the music is coming from, first and foremost. Of course, of course. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, we just heard a little bit before. Tell me in your eyes, in your mind, in your heart, uh, how do you describe your sound? Wow, I, I, you know, I would call it roots music um, because I, I feel like I'm doing the very best that I can to pull from all these influences. So whether it's jazz music or reggae music or funk or blues or rock, for me this is music that comes from the earth or from the sky. It's something that is very much emotionally based, very emotionally charged and there's no real rules in that kind of music. Mm. To me I think it's all about uh, just playing what you feel. It has to feel great. It has to, in the moment, you know, like what yep. you feel on that day. All right, so, Philip. Yeah. Well, uh, for people who want to find out more and want to feel that music, uh, go uh, tonight, Petit Campus. Uh, the doors open at 8 p.m. There's tickets still available. And uh, I feel like I could say co comfortably that uh, there's going to be a great show for people who are going to go tonight. Man, Thanks I for stopping so. by. Thank you, Alex. Very nice to meet you.